This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this type of nice and simple photo slides or animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins in a few simple steps. So I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and first of all, we have to take a new composition. So just go to this composition, take a new composition or you can also click on this new composition button to take a new composition. So click on this button and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main and set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate so in this case i'm using this 60 frame per second and of course you can select any different frame rate that you want and set the duration of this composition five second long which is good enough for one slide and hit ok now let's take one more composition so just go to this composition take a new composition and this is going to be our media composition where we can drag and drop our image or video file that we want to use in this project so let's call it media set it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 60 duration make it 5 second hit ok now we need to import an image or video file so just go to this project window right click on that go to import file and select any image or video file so in this case i'm using this image that i have downloaded from unsplash.com and i will provide a link in the description so just go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import now right click on this and click on rename and call it image and just drag this image into this media composition hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property let's scale it up a bit and fit this image according to this frame just like that and then go to your main composition and here we have to import this media into this main composition and right click on this media click on rename and let's call it media 01 just go to the end of this animation hit S on the keyboard to open this scale property click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property go back to very first frame of this animation and let's increase the size of this so we have to set this uh, value 120 percent and now we have this nice scale animation as you can see so before we proceed further let's take a look on our today's sponsor this video is sponsored by Mixkit. If you don't know about Mixkit, let me tell you, Mixkit currently provides four different assets for video creators to download and use high quality stock video clips, music track, sound effects, and video templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. Mixkit content is sourced from talented creators from all around the world to help people who want to create high quality content without spending too much time and money on a single project. All assets are available for absolutely free to download and the best thing is that no attribution required to use or download the Mixkit assets. Mixkit constantly growing library with the new video assets being added every week and encouraging people to subscribe the newsletter and be a part of Mixkit crew to get exclusive videos every week. Just go to the link in the description and check out this amazing website Mixkit and start downloading absolutely free content for your upcoming projects today. All right, now minimize this layer and select this layer, hit control D to duplicate. And now we have the second copy of this media. And after that, just go to this effect and preset. If you can't see this effect and preset, then go to window and check this option effect and preset and then search for tint. So this is our tint effect. Let's apply this tint on this uh, media 02 and make it pure black and white and after that let's add one more effect so just search for curves so this is our curves effect let's apply these curves on this second media composition and here let's drag this point and set it right over here and increase the contrast of this image just like this 
and now we have to create brush stroke kind of uh, animation so just go to this project window right click on that go to import file and here we have to select this brush stroke and i have given a link in the description for this brush so just go to the link and download this brush stroke png file and of course you can use any different brush stroke png file and click on import right click on this brush click on rename and let's call it brush and after that we have to type a text over here so select this text tool go to this character if you can't see this character then go to window again and check this option character and here we have to select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this hand Cheera font style set it to regular and set the size of this font 350 pixel maybe and click over here and type anything that you want now just select this text layer go to align if you can't see this align then go to window again and check this align option and then click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically basically we have to set the text in the center of this frame all right and then go to your effect and preset and search for drop shadow so this is our drop shadow effect let's apply this on this text layer now let's do some settings so just go to this effect control and here we have to set this distance something around 30 and let's increase the softness of this shadow so we have to set this value something around 60 maybe and now it's looking much more interesting as you can see and after that we have to select this text and this uh, media layer and right click on that go to pre-compose and let's call it black and white check this option move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and after that let's animate the brushes so just go to this project window and let's import this brush stroke into this main composition and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property let's scale it up a bit so i'm going to set this value 120 percent and hit r on the keyboard to open this rotation and let's rotate this brush just like this all right now hit ctrl d to duplicate and just drag this second copy right over here and hit r on the keyboard to open this rotation and let's rotate this brush just like this and place it over here maybe now let's create one more copy so hit ctrl d and just drag this brush right over here all right now we have to animate the brushes so select all the brushes and go to on to second hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to very first frame of this animation and click over here and select this first brush and just drag this brush on left hand side outside of this frame and select the second one drag it on right hand side select this third one just drag it on left hand side all right and now we have a linear animation so just select all the keyframes like this hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and then go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and click on this edit a speed graph all right select these points hold these handles and just drag these handles like this and create a nice smooth curve and close this graph editor and as you can see all the brushes revealing at same time so i want to create a gap of 30 frame maybe half a second between each brushes so just go over on this 30 frame which is equal to half a second according to 60 fps and select these keyframes just drag these keyframes and place it on frame number 30 go to 30 frame forward in time on one second select this keyframe for third one and just drag this keyframe over here maybe set this resolution to auto and let's take a look all right so it's looking nice and after that select all the brushes right click on that 
click on this pre-compose and let's call it brushes check this option move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and i'm going to use this process as a mat for this black and white layer so select this black and white layer go to track mat if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switches and send this track mat to luma mat and after that just go back to very first frame and select this media one layer and go to effect and preset and search for directional blur so this is our directional blur effect let's apply this on media one layer and here we have to set this blur length value something around 30 all right and now it's looking much more interesting as you can see all right now let's add a lens flare over here so just go to this uh, project window right click on that go to import file and in this case i'm using this lens flare file that i have given a link in the description so just go to the link and download this lens flare and click on import and just drag this flare into this main composition i'm going to set this uh, lens flare at the end of this animation just place the cti on this lens flare and change this blending mode normal to screen all right hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale this up to 200 percent maybe all right and now it's looking much more interesting all right now close this layer and let's do one more thing just go to this layer go to new and take a new null object and right click on this null object click on rename and call it controller select all the layers and pick this pick whip and attach this with controller like this all right select this controller and go to the end of this animation hit R on the keyboard to open this rotation property click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on rotation and go back to very first frame of this animation and let's rotate it by six degree maybe so i'm going to set this rotation value negative six degree close this layer and now it's almost done so go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye